Tailwind CSS is incredible, but is it right for you? Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. My name's Kyle, and my job is to simplify the web for you so you can start building your dream project sooner. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Now, Tailwind CSS is a utility CSS library, which is different from things like Bootstrap or Foundation in that instead of defining classes such as button, button primary, card, header, and so on, they define classes like margin left seven, or display flex, or justify content center. So instead of defining a card, you would define all of the pieces you need to create that card, and then inside of your HTML, you would add classes like display flex, justify content center, text large, and so on, and that would give you a large centered piece of text that is display flex. A really common example of this is inside of Bootstrap, you have the class button and button primary you would use to create a blue button. But inside of Tailwind, you would have a class such as padding, you know, seven or whatever that would define your padding around the button. Then you would have another class that would tell your text to be a certain size. Then you would have a background color text that would specify your background color, a text color class for defining your text color, and you could even have classes that can help you define hover state and focus state and so on. So you can set a class for when you hover over it, make it a darker blue color, for example, or when you click on it, make it an even darker blue color. And all of this is done with individual CSS classes instead of just having button and button primary. Now, if you're anything like me, you're probably looking at this and going, um, isn't that way, way more CSS classes you have to add to your HTML? And it just seems like tons more work that you have to do. Why don't I just use button and button primary? That's so much easier. And I used to be in the same mindset until I actually tried out and used Tailwind CSS myself. And the reason why this actually isn't a problem in my opinion is because it makes it so much more flexible and easier to change in the future. Because let's say that you wanted to add a new primary button that's slightly darker than your original primary button. Now you have to add a new class called, you know, button primary dark. And what if you want a lighter version? Well, now you have a button primary light that you have to deal with. And then if you wanted to have like a large, darker, lighter version or whatever, you have to combine together a button primary dark large and a button primary dark small. And it just starts to get more and more complicated as you have all these different permutations. But by using Tailwind CSS, all you do is you take that background color CSS class and you just change it to be darker or lighter, or you make the font size bigger or smaller. It's so much easier to tweak these individual things instead of doing all of that inside of, you know, your bootstrap class system with CSS. Now, honestly, with components like this, you could go either way. Both of them make sense. But where Tailwind CSS and any other utility CSS library shines is when it comes to just ad hoc. You know what, I need to create a container that's going to be display flex, that's gonna justify the content between these things in the center, and I wanna have you know some margin between these different items. And when you just wanna lay things out in kind of just an ad hoc manner, oh, I need a little bit of spacing between these two elements, or oh, I need to add a little bit here, or I want this to have a slightly darker background color. This is where Tailwind CSS comes in handy, because with Bootstrap, you probably can't do that. You know, you may be able to do some rows and some columns and you can maybe modify a little bit the spacing between things, but you're really stuck with the actual CSS classes they give you, which are fairly limited. While with Tailwind CSS, you have a huge array of different classes that are going to allow you to style these things exactly like you want. So customization is where Tailwind really wins and where other libraries like Bootstrap and Foundation fail because you're stuck with the particular classes they give you. And if you want to change them, well, now you need to go in there and modify your own CSS or overwrite them with inline styles, whatever you do. And it's just a huge pain to work with and deal with, in my opinion, which is why I so much more prefer using something like Tailwind over something like Bootstrap. This flexibility is one of the things I love most about Tailwind since it lets me write CSS essentially without actually writing my own CSS, but it also imposes upon you limitations and these limitations make it so that your designs are much more coherent and they look a lot better. Because instead of defining your pixel values for padding and margin, you know, saying like seven pixels here, eight pixels here, six pixels there, it's going to get kind of jumbled and messed up since you don't have a system to go by. With Tailwind CSS, you know, you can say P1 or padding two or padding three. And these are actual values. Instead of being like one pixel, two pixel, three pixel, it may be four pixel, eight pixel, 12 pixel. And then it may jump up where you can do 20 pixels. So it's really forcing you to specify exact sizings that fall within a design system. Tailwind is essentially one giant design system that you can use for styling and spacing out all your elements. That way you don't have inconsistent spacing throughout your designs where you have, you know, six pixels here and seven pixels here. It's all going to be six pixels or it's all going to be seven pixels. Tailwind is essentially just a giant CSS design system that makes it really easy for you to create and customize components and designs for your application. As you can see here, this is my JavaScript simplified website, and this website I built entirely using Tailwind CSS. 
I only had a few lines of actual CSS. I think it was like five or six lines of CSS for the entire site and everything else was built with Tailwind. So that just shows you the power of Tailwind to not only create good looking designs, but also designs that don't look like every other site because this doesn't look like a generic bootstrap or foundation site. It looks completely unique from other sites out there. The other amazing thing about Tailwind CSS is that it's entirely configurable. You can pretty much change every single one of the preset default values in the design system to be what you want. For my example on this site, I actually changed it so that it uses different fonts for the default fonts instead of the ones that are built into the system so I can have my own look and feel to the site with my own font. But if I wanted, I could also have changed colors and padding and margins and so on. I just left those all as is because they were good enough for me. Now it sounds like I'm pretty much entirely praising Tailwind CSS and to be honest, I do really like it myself, but there are definitely areas where Tailwind CSS is not the ideal solution. When you're in the rough and dirty prototyping phase and the main thing you care about is the backend functionality or just the overall functionality of the site itself, go with Bootstrap. It's so much easier and quicker to work with than working with something like Tailwind. And it really just allows you to focus on the actual logic that you care about instead of worrying about design. Also, if you aren't very good at CSS and don't understand CSS super well, Tailwind is not a good option for you. In order to fully take advantage of Tailwind CSS, you need to understand how CSS works at a core level because every CSS class in Tailwind is just like applying an individual CSS property. And if you don't understand how CSS works and how the different properties work together, you're not going to be able to use Tailwind to actually create a good design. So if you're interested in taking your CSS skills to the next level, you can check out my CSS course. I'll link it down in the description below. But if you already know CSS, then Tailwind is a great option for you. Now, the final area where I really think Tailwind kind of falls short is if you're working on just a plain HTML, CSS, and simple JavaScript site where you're not using something like React or another front-end framework for components. Because if you have to copy your button styles, which is, you know, eight or nine different classes to every single button on your page, that's going to really suck. But with Tailwind CSS, if you use it with something like React or Angular or Vue, you're just going to make a button component and put all those Tailwind CSS classes in there, as well as all the permutations for every different button, which means it's easy because you don't have to worry about, you know, having these different classes being copy and pasted to every button in your component. And then if you need to change the color, changing it everywhere, if you're using this front end framework, it's just going to be in one place. But if you're just writing out normal HTML and doing all your classes that way, Generally, I would say go away from Tailwind CSS. You can still use Tailwind CSS like that, but it's not really the ideal situation for it. Overall, you should definitely be using Tailwind, and I highly recommend you try it out on your next site. Also, if you want to hear my opinions on if you should use Bootstrap or not, check that video out over here and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.